If I tell you that I have got 12 rupees in my pocket, what all different combinations of coins and notes would make 12 rupees? Let's see. I can have 12 coins of 1 rupee each. 12 coins of 1 rupee is equal to 12 rupees. Or 6 coins of 2 rupees each. 6 coins of 2 rupees is equal to 12 rupees. Other combinations could be 2 coins of 5 rupees plus 2 coins of 1 rupee is equal to 12 rupees. Or 2 coins of 5 rupees plus 1 coin of 2 rupees is equal to 12 rupees. And you can think of more combinations of coins of 1, 2 and 5 rupees. Right? Great. I have one more combination. Look at this. 1 note of 10 rupees plus 1 coin of 2 rupees is equal to 12 rupees. Now, if I ask you, which of these is the most convenient to carry in my pocket? Obviously, you will say, 1 note of 10 rupees plus 1 coin of 2 rupees, that is 12 rupees. That means, instead of handling 10 coins of 1 rupee, it's easier to exchange 1 note of 10 rupees for them. Similarly, instead of handling 100 coins of 1 rupees, it's easier to exchange 1 note of 100 rupees for them. Or, 10 notes of 10 rupees as well. Previously, we used to have notes of rupees 1000 in circulation. But now, we do not have it. But to understand the place value, suppose we have a 1000 rupees note. So, for 1000 rupees, that is, I can exchange 10 notes of 100 rupees each. And in mathematics, as you know, we indicate units, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands in the form of place value. Let's indicate these place values differently. H, hundreds, T, tens, U, units. Similarly, we can indicate one thousandth place with one note of one thousand rupees and 10,000th place by using 10 notes of 1,000 rupees each. Okay, now I want you to help Meena. She wants to carry a minimum number of notes to the bank for depositing money she collected in her two different piggy banks. Ready? Okay. From the first piggy bank, she removed 15 coins of 1 rupees, 14 notes of 10 rupees and 2 notes of 100 rupees. Can you see how she exchanged coins of 1 rupees with notes of 10 rupees and notes of 10 rupees with notes of 100 rupees each? Let's see how much does it count to. It is equal to rupees 355. That means hundreds, 3, tens, 5. Units, 5. Great! From the second piggy bank, she removed 27 coins of 1 rupees, 23 notes of 10 rupees, 2 notes of 100 rupees. Let's see how much does it count to. This time also to make it convenient, Meena exchanged coins of 1 rupees with notes of 10 rupees and notes of 10 rupees with notes of 100 rupees each. That means hundreds, 4, tens, 5, Units 7. Now she is trying to find out how much is she having in total. Meena did something like this. So Meena now has a total A 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 coins of 1 rupees each. B 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 notes of 10 rupees each. C 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 notes of 100 each. So now, for 12 coins of 1 rupees each, she exchanged 1 note of 10 rupees and kept 2 coins of 1 rupees each as before. Now, 
she has got one more 10 rupees note so that there are 5 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 11 notes of 10 rupees. This one is called as carry over to the tens place. So, for these 11 notes of 10 rupees each amounting, she exchanged one note of 100 rupees and kept one note of 10 rupees as it is. Now, she has one more note of 100 rupees. So, there are 4 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 8 notes of 100 rupees each. This one is called as carry over to the hundreds place. Let's see how much does she have in total now. She has 812 rupees. Hundreds, 3, tens, 5, units, 5. Hundreds, 4, tens, 5. Units 7. Hundreds 8. Tens 1. Units 2. So now, as you know the meaning of carry over, let's now quickly see how do we add two four digit numbers. This time we have got thousandth place added, right? It's very important to note here that even in case of above addition of two three digit numbers, Every time we have added two single digit numbers and if the sum is 10 or more, we had one tens as the carryover and so on. That means the process of addition remains the same, irrespective of the number of digits of the two numbers. And that makes addition super easy, right? Okay, now let's take another example. Let's add 2,986 and 3,597. 6 plus 7, 13. So, we exchange 13 rupees for 1 note of 10 and 3 coins of 1 rupees. So, we write 3 in the units place and this 1 note of 10 is the carryover to the tens place as shown. Now, we have 8 plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 18 notes of 10 rupees each. Okay. We exchange 180 rupees with 10 notes of 10 rupees with 1 note of 100 rupees and 8 notes of 10 rupees. So, we write 8 in the tens place and this 1 note of rupees 100 is the carryover to the hundreds place as shown. So, that now we have 9 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 15 notes of 100 rupees. So now we exchange 1500 rupees with 1 note of 1000 rupees and 5 notes of 100 rupees. In case of a 1000 rupees note, now it does not exist in current Indian currency, but let's assume here for convenience of understanding. And 5 notes of 100 rupees. So we write 5 in the hundreds place and this one note of 1000 rupees is the carryover to the thousands place as shown here. Now we have 2 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 notes of 1000 rupees each as shown. That means we have 6 notes of 1000 rupees each is equal to 6 into 1000 equals 6000 rupees. 5 notes of 100 rupees each is equal to 5 into 100 equals 500 rupees. 8 notes of 10 rupees each is equal to 8 into 10 equals 80 rupees. 3 coins of 1 rupee each is equal to 3 into 1 equals 3 rupees. So, in all, we have 6000 plus 500 plus 80 plus 3 is equal to 6583 rupees. We can use the same procedure and find out addition of two numbers of five digit. This time, for five digit number, 10,000th place will get added as 10,000 is equal to 
10 nodes of 1000. Let's try out addition of 39,498 and 74,099. Here, as we go on adding digits from units place, it is seen that after adding the digits at hundreds place, we do not get any carry forward for thousands place. Whereas, after adding digits at 10,000th place, along with the carryover, we got 11 nodes of 10,000 each is equal to 11 into 10, 1,000 is equal to 1 lakh 10,000. That means, we needed to add lakhs place to indicate this number as shown here. Now, let's try to do the addition of population of two districts. Say, population of one district is 4,87,859 plus population of second district is 3,64,632. There are a few simple tricks while adding two single digits. Let's see what they are. You should know all the pairs of digits which add up to 10. That means 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. While adding two digits such as 6 plus 5, we can make it as 6 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 11 or 6 plus 6 minus 1 is equal to 11. While adding two digits such as 8 plus 6, we can make it as 8 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 14. What did we learn? In addition of numbers of 5, 6, 7 or more numbers of digits, the following process repeats. We add two single digit numbers if the sum is less than 10 and we have the answer. If the sum is greater than 10, we take 1 as carryover to the next place. When we add two numbers of any number of digits, the sum is always larger than the original numbers. Addition is easy whether the numbers are small or large. It is a repetition of two single digit numbers. Exercise now, by using the hint of above example, can you find out the digits which are required in the blank spaces given below? Try out. 